Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, and that means we're using Satellanites. But actually, kind of, we're not. Because there's actually something that I've always wanted to try out. And of course, I draw this. <laughs> oh my god, just me. Just me, though. Like, my luck is just terrible. Uh, I've always wanted to try out Seraphs. Star Seraphs. And I was like, well, I'm probably going to make these decks in real life, Satellanites and Star Seraphs. But, you know, why do they have to be separate decks, you know? That's that's the question. And, uh, pretty much my answer is, they don't, really. <laughs> so, this hand is shitty, clearly. Of course, I drew that. I'm playing it just, to, you know, just, why not? I had an extra space. I was like, oh, this card's good. I have 101, why not? And then, I freaking draw it, and I'm like, okay, yep, this is... Yeah. So, this hand is not terrible. I wish I would have got some more Star Seraphs, um, or some more Satellanites, or a little, little bit of both. So I'm like, I kind of have synergy. They both revolve around getting your three, uh, I mean, yeah, your, yeah, your three level four XC monsters. And, you know, the Star Seraphs are really great. They have some awesome effects. And, uh, the Satellanites do. Uh, I love to go into Death Telos, and he's, like, my nigga, so, uh, or however you pronounce his name. So I still have the Goldfishes instead, and really, I'm about to just start, you know, Overextending a little bit, because right now I ain't drawing shit. <laughs> I think it's more generic shit in here. Like everything is that's my that's my one big problem right now is everything's a little bit too competitive for my taste right now. Cut him down, you know, maybe cut him out and maybe put some like some my strokes and shit in here. So alright, I found my first flaw that right now I pretty much don't have shit to do because <laughs> uh I could go for a two, but then everything is just so toolboxy, you know? That's the problem with this deck, is that it, it, it's a little bit more free-flowing. I don't have to be so, you know, restricted in my play, so so structured. I can I can be a little bit more free-flowing. So hopefully my goldfish survive. Next turn I can go summon, summon, and uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and exceed. Yep, so my goldfish survived. I can go ahead, hopefully, if this background doesn't stop me, uh, go into, um, a Delta, and Delta is always great, like, Delta is my favorite, like, he just gets you so set up with your Satellanites, it's not even funny, you know, and Ser the Star Seraphs, they have great cards as well, they have that chair, everything, I still decided to keep the Goldfish and stuff in here, just because they're pretty decent cards as well, so, so, everything is just great, so we're just gonna go for our main boss monster, just our, Delta, because he's freaking great. Delta's gonna go ahead and just detach the blow up. And that's just great. He's, you know, protects my shit. And just one of the major things about him that makes him just completely just awesome is that uh, when he's uh, what does it say? Uh, this card is sent from the field to the graveyard to special summon once to tell him from your deck, from your hand or deck. Like that's just great. Like he pretty much fuels himself. Why the hell would you let me blow up your shit before you freaking? I guess. I fucking guess. Like, seriously, why would the hell would you let me blow up your shit? I guess you want to drop Hyperion that fucking bad? You want to target? Uh, why, would, why didn't you just immediately compulse me when I was summoned? Why didn't you. I don't know. I mean, of course he has compulse, so. Yeah, he fucked my ass. I didn't give a shit, but seriously. Like. Like, my one, my one, one of my one weaknesses is that fucking Compulse. Compulse is still just such a good fucking card. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Compulse is still good. Like, some people are like, oh, it's a neg one. Like, yeah, you use it right. It's good. Like, clearly, that situation, it was fucking great. Alright. Add one star up and blah, 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 blah. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and summon you. You will get your effect off. You will go ahead and get me one of my Star Seraphs, so I can go ahead and get a chair, right? If you normal summon a Star Seraph monster, you can special summon this card from your hand if you do draw a card. Yeah, that's great. Oh, just normal summon. Period. Alright, so I it starts a chain. It starts a chain. Well, now I know. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and activate uh, Call of the Haunted then, and I'll bring back my scale. And yeah, I think. Ah, uh, hold on. Everything is going off at the same time, so. Chair, you get summoned. You draw a card, and special summon this card. Do I only get the effects of these guys once per turn? 
No, I don't. So, sure, why not special summon him? Why not special summon him and then get another search? Huh, I didn't get to search with this one. This card's no something you can have this, uh, Oh, I think I missed timing because of scale. Oh, I messed up. Oh well. Oh, fucking well, I don't care. Alright. Time to go into my Delta again, because he's good. And, uh. Do you wish to use the Hex the Monster? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, go ahead and blow him up. And I get to freaking just awesome. So far, so far, I'm working. So far, I... Oh, I detached the wrong one. I detached the wrong one. Oh, well. I don't care. I'm messing up, but... You know, the deck... It, uh, that's what I like about the deck. Is that I don't want it to be competitive. I want it to be a fun deck, but it can bounce back. That's what I like about this deck. Is that I'm up on resources. I'm bouncing back. My plays are working, because the, the Star Staffers are working, and the and the, and the Satellas are working. Just everything is working. Like, you work it, girl. <laughs> Uh, uh, I want you to summon Deneb, right? And Deneb, you can go ahead and search me for I don't give a shit. I guess Vega. Yeah, Vega. So, despite him dark calling me, I'm still up on resources, and I can go for another all. I mean, uh, just tell us next fucking turn. Like, how fucking awesome is that? Like, I don't know, I was just sitting there talking to my friends, and I was like, I'm gonna make, like, we were talking about my Castello deck, and we were talking about, you know, competitive decks, and my Castello deck is super competitive. So we were thinking about talking about fun decks, and I was like, well, I'm gonna make Satella Knights, and I'm gonna make Star Sephir, because I wanna, I like stars, and that's gonna be awesome. And then I was like, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Satella Knights have consistency issues, and Star Sephir is, are, you know, a, a deck that likes to make threes just like my deck. Why not just combine the two? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't care. I couldn't fucking use it anyway because I'm so unlucky that I just drew that shit, so. Don't fucking touch me. So literally, literally, my opponent is running out of resources. That's how that's how funny this is right now. Yeah, I'll summon you. I'm trying to save you two because I know you two can go ahead and go for plays next turn. I mean, well, I get to draw a card, so why not? And I drew another Deneb. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, so once again we're just gonna go for our main guy. He's a boss ass bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> blow this up. So far, it's working. I think that's game. Yeah, that's game. I won. So far, it's fucking working. <laughs> wow. Alright. Up on resources and winning. So we'll go ahead and get another duel in. So be right back. Alright, back. So, let's see if we can, you know, do really well this duel as well. Because that was pretty good. You know, I started off a little bit bumpy, but, you know, after, after things were clearing up, it worked out. So, I'm happy about that. So, this this turn, we could fucking... I don't think I'm going to take it solo. I think I'm just going to summon Deneb. Deneb search me for uh, uh, Vega. And then next turn, when Deneb dies, I can go ahead and go for uh, uh, a Delta next turn. So, so far, looking good, looking good. Like, look at it like this. Like this, and, and him, with him, with him, like... God, God damn! <laughs> I think one of my biggest weaknesses is a lot of back row. So, what's that fucking cyber dark? Cyber darks? Okay. What you gonna send a fucking blue eyes and a dragon ruler or something like that along those lines? I mean, I clearly already saw Mirror Forces and background and shit, so I gotta be prepared for that, but... 
so he equips and then he gains the attack, so he goes 25, freaking 25 beater. Uh, damn, nice and powerful. And the ice pierce, that's pretty good. This card be destroyed by the equipment monster destroyed instead. Okay. Sure, kill my Deneb. I don't care. So, I'm thinking maybe play Royal Decree in this deck. But then, you know, the Call of the Haunted they're a pretty useful thing. So, I just have to use it wisely. Alright, so we'll go ahead and, go ahead and summon Vega. Vega, go ahead and summon, summon us Altair. Altair, go ahead and bring back Deneb. There's Bottomless. There's Bottomless. Like, as, as if we didn't know he was gonna fucking have that card. Give me another Altair. Alright, we'll just go for... We'll just go for a three. Uh, do I run Paladamino in here? Yeah, I run one. Paladamino is good, so... Why not? I just kinda knew he would have it. I can only activate the effects of them once per turn, right? You only use the effect of still in yeah, once per turn. Alright. I can only attack with the Telenite monsters this turn. That's right. That's right. Well they don't have a the problem is they don't have a fucking uh a three. I mean two level two level four monsters. They don't have one. It's all three with them, so. So that bottomless really fucked me up, but what can I expect? I put, that bottomless is probably a given, so. So go ahead and kill my fucking paladin. I'll go right ahead. What? I get to draw a card? I get to draw cards? I want to draw cards! Who doesn't want to draw cards? <laughs> I'm surprised you're not putting him in defense mode. Kill him. I get to draw a fucking card. I like being up on resources. Why not? Why the fuck not? Oh, that's fine. More summoning, more drawing, more everything. More power. Turn him into defense. There we go. So that's in back row. Wow, no back row. That's a surprise. I wish I would have got the MST last fucking turn. Alright, so this turn I can go ahead and call the Haunted Vega. Vega, when it's summoned, I get to special summon one to tell I'll, just, I'll summon Altair, Altair, bring back the Neb, the Neb Search. My hand is getting a little bit too cloggy, though. I might try to do the fucking, uh, Star Sapphire plays and go into them, because I don't. My hands are getting too clogged. I need a fucking. Yes? Chair? I need to work on these Star Sapphires. You're summoned. Draw a card. Do I want to special summon this monster? No. Do I want to summon you? Yes. Summon scale. Do I want to summon you? Uh... Special summon from the hand. Draw a card. Uh... No, I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm good. Now yeah, we'll go for the leader himself. Cause god damn he's good. Damn. That truck is hot. <laughs> Blow you up. No. And then I can go off with my fucking Satella place. Oh, or he can quit. Wow. I'm so up on resources, you might as well quit, because I can literally just go call the haunted, bring that back, and then make another freaking Delta. Like, why the fuck not? It's fucking Delta. So fucking good. We're gonna get one more duel in. I think I think this is working, so we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, for you it was only like a couple of seconds, but for me it was a, it was a little break. Uh, pretty much uh, when I was trying to like edit the deck and change the extra deck a little bit. No one wants to duel against motherfucking skill drain. I'm done. I'm done. 
I'm just so fucking tired of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just... <sighs> Be right back, I'll get a different duel because it's fucking skill drain. What the fuck do you expect? It's fucking skill drain. Like, really? What the fuck do you expect? Be right back. So, like I was saying before, I got really interrupted by fucking someone playing skill drain because totally everybody wants to go up against skill drain. Uh... Uh, when I tried to edit the deck and I tried to, you know, play again. Gravekeepers, because I totally want to duel against that. Be right back. <sighs> what is going on today? Like, everybody is just on doing, using the, just the shittiest, stackiest decks that no one wants to duel. I'm having tons of fun. Yep. So, I couldn't log in, I couldn't connect to the host, so I decided to go ahead and record Vitamin Y, and literally, I've, that was the worst fucking Vitamin Y I've ever had in my entire fucking life, like, I don't even know why I fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes, because this game is just a pain in the dick. Like... Okay, so now, fucking this shit's not working. I just, I just can't play Yu-Gi-Oh today, I don't know, I just can't. I just can't. I try to get another duel in, I swear to god, I wanna get one more duel in, be right back. Alright, can we actually duel this time? Okay, good, we can actually duel, amazing. And I fucking draw this shit. I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to fucking do anymore. Why do I have such terrible luck? Why? Vitamin Y, I was drawing Ubel, Terra, Malicious, and then I draw this shit. This is 1 out of 40, and I always draw it. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Why? Why? Why me? What did I do to deserve this shit? What did I possibly do to deserve such terrible luck in Yu-Gi-Oh? All I want to do is just have fun and play fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! And I can't even fucking do that without my luck being in the fucking trash can. Like, fuck my life. I swear to God, I can't. I can't. Worst fucking time of I draw this shit one duel, and I draw it again in another fucking duel. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Can I just not fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh! at all? At all? Just no? Nothing? Okay, that's awesome. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't... I just love the luck factor. I just love it. I fucking love it. I just love how I can't do shit in Yu-Gi-Oh! Every single fucking time I try to do anything, I fucking just get my ass beat and lose. So fucking great. I'm having a butt ton of fun. Only I, only I would draw shit like this. Only me. But you know what? The deck is still really good and really fun despite this. I might take this shit out because clearly I'm just going to keep drawing it open hand. So fuck it. I might as well just take it out. Might as well fucking take it out, right? Might as well just fucking take it out. Alright, we're gonna go for our, our nigga. It's so good. Like, I, I think I've literally gone against, like, all the shitty shit sackiness that I could possibly go against today. Like, I can't, I can't take this shit anymore. Actually, I should have destroyed the wind-up factory and said fuck the dog, but it's really whatever. Really, I should have set this, because I can't fucking play it anyway, instead of it getting M my call on to getting MST, it should have been this. That was my bad. Not like I can't do anything else with this card. Summoner Monk's not in this deck. I don't have enough spells for Summoner Monk to be in this deck. Not even remotely. I think I got, like, fucking... Fucking, like... MSTs and this, I think. Maybe Dark Hole, if I remember correctly. That's it. That's fucking it. Anyway, I go against Watlock, I go against a deck that pretty much won't allow me to summon, I go against Skildren, I go against Gravekeepers. Like, I, what's up with everybody today? Like, does everybody just want to fucking just be the nuts today? Do they just want to fucking teabag my ass all fucking day? Alright, how do I handle this situation? I could just, I really want to scrap Scrap Factory and rip off Attack Attack. Yeah, I can make another one of this, so... I can go ahead and rip off, rip off one with the other one, and then attack, attack. One, two, three. And then he'll be dead. Yeah, so. Cause I can, I can go ahead and, you know, cause I can go, like, summon this, turn the defense, go to effect, summon, what, this, and then when this is summon, summon this, so. At least this deck is fun. Just in the chair. Draw 
Oh, card. Is this an additional normal summon? No, it's a special summon. This card is special summon. You can special summon stars up in monster room and they can place one. Huh. I don't know why it didn't go off, but really, it's whatever. So we're gonna go in for another one, because he's just so fucking good. Like, he's the fucking boss monster. And it doesn't even say you can only activate the effect of him once per turn or anything. It's just so good. Like, damn. Alright, so. Give me your last attachment, and then I'll just kill you. So then you have to deal with two of him. Go ahead. Even if you dark hole. MST, sure. Like how you open up with multiple MSTs and I open up with fucking that. So, that's awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Every time I special summon from the hand, I get to draw a card. Immediately. It's good. I think it's only once, though. Each turn, the first time a monster special summons my hand, melee draw a card. Yeah, it's only once, so that's good. I mean, I got the draw card off of him, so that's not bad. But it looks like he's gonna try to go off right now with his fucking wind-up, so go right ahead. I do not care. I can bounce back. That's, that's what's great about this fucking deck, is that I can fucking bounce back. Utopia. So what the fuck is this? Fucking Zexal weapons? You're gonna go for your fucking Leo guy? One dump Zexal weapons. Yep. Utopia. So what does Tiger Blade do? The equipment monster cannot be destroyed by card effects. And this card is this card will be destroyed. Equip monster to destroy the card of effects. Destroy this card instead. So I will go ahead and summon. Uh, I don't know, I really don't care. Because he can just unequip it and fucking attack me again, so. Well, we'll just go for the safe play. We'll just go for Neb. And, uh, yeah, get me a Vega. So you're gonna unequip and attack me again? Sure. Uh, so, we'll summon, uh, what the fuck is left? We'll summon Vega from the deck. And then Vega, you can go ahead and summon... Altair, and Altair, you can go off and summon me Delta again, why not? Like, so up on the resources that I give no fuck, so. Alright, so, I guess I can just go ahead and go into... What's it say? The monster will be destroyed by card effects. Okay. And it says like, oh, uh, if this card is the monster you control, then still I just cannot attack for this turn. But that was that was during his turn, so I can still attack. All right, so I'm just gonna go for fucking Castell. This fucking Castell is fucking awesome. These two. No. Put that back. That game, is that enough for game? 2045, 45, no, that's not enough for game yet. <coughs> I got all left with the neb. Alright, well, this should be enough for game. Slap the shit out of my opponent. Alright, so. Despite my terrible luck, this deck is still looking good, so 
Tell me what you guys think. I think the Star Sapphires are working with the Satellanites. I think it's all just mushing together really well, like a like a nice clay, like a nice dough that I can mold and meld into a deck that's not competitive, but really fun to do with and still good. So tell me what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, slaying with slate using Marmels. Thanks for watching.